Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this video I'll give you a few quick fire podcast editing tips. All right, here we are in Adobe Audition CC 2018. Uh, all this week, by the way, these videos are pre-recorded as I am at Social Media Marketing World 2018 uh, and very, very excited to be there. I'll be giving my talk uh, tomorrow on how to improve the audio quality of your podcast. Uh, so here we are uh, right now with a podcast that I'm working on. And the first podcast editing tip I, I pretty much tell every producer um, at the very start of their journey is that, well, instead of editing words at the start, you can edit them midway through. Uh, this is a brilliant thing. If you get words that are exactly the same. Ground. That's ground. Ground. And you want to edit. Um, now, usually what you do when you're editing uh, a word like that, you kind of go right to the start there and cut like that. Okay, and let's play it. Journalist who is going to do the ground up. Uh, and then I take that. Journalist who is going to do the ground and what I can actually do instead of cutting at the start, which actually sounds OK in this context, but sometimes uh, the interviewee or the host will change their tone or their inflection. And it's really hard to make a hard edit like that. So sometimes editing halfway through. And if we find here, uh, we've got the D of ground. Round, 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 round. There, there's the D where the D comes in. And then we find the D of the next one, which is a little clearer in definition. You'll see it's just there. And I cut halfway through the word. Do the ground up list. Who's going to do the ground up? Absolutely perfect. Uh, so that's one way that you can quickly edit a podcast and uh, make it sound better, particularly if someone stumbled over a word and they did a retake on that word. Rather than cutting at the start or the end, cut halfway through the word and you will have, uh, you'll find it's a lot easier and it sounds a lot better more natural. Uh, other things you might want to do is take out, take away breaths like uh, like these little critters here. That and that and that and that. Now, after a while, as a podcast editor, you'll probably get really used to um, how breaths look. You can probably pick them out. And what you can do is you can reduce them like that. Well, because you also wanted... To See, I've just reduced the volume there. Undo. Level because you also wanted to research... That's quite a good way to do it. Rather than removing it entirely, again, using the amplitude heads-up display, uh, which can sound unnatural. Because you also wanted to research... A bit too much of a pregnant pause there. Level because... You also wanted to research. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, another way to get rid of uh, breaths but keep the audio in is use something like a noise gate or downward expander. In effects, amplitude and compression dynamics, there is an auto gate here. Because you a bit too aggressive, that because threshold. You also because you also wanted to research it. To because you also wanted to research it. And as you can hear, the gate is now closing out any breaths. You almost need like a jerk round up very thoroughly. So not only res now you can of course change that threshold round up very thoroughly. So not only re so you get a little bit of the breath coming through uh, to still keep it natural. Another way is of course the downward expander because you also wondered and depending on where I put the threshold you also want and take that because you also want because you also want because you also want at that level the expander is working every time there's a breath because you also want most need. Like a journalist. Who but of course, set it too harsh like I have done there and it starts cutting out words. So do apply with care. The other thing is spotting errs and ums in podcasts. Re rest of the work. Oh, hang on. That's a really good example here. Let's have a listen. Re rest, of, re rest of the work. See that little stumble there? The rate, re rest of want to do the rate, re rest of want to do the rate, re rest of the work. So you want to cut that out again. Midway is the best way. Rate, re the rest of the rest of rest of the rate of so again midway through I'm going to make a cut you want to do the rest of the you want to do the rest of not quite right so we're going to the rate of rate of rate of rate of try and get a good cut do the rest of the work do the rate of rate of rest of the and again we might need to go deeper in do the rest of the want to do the rest of the now it's almost good but you can still hear a slight click so i'm going to zoom in and find out where that cut was it'll be somewhere here about there and what we want to make sure is we're cutting with the peaks and troughs matching otherwise we're going to get a dodgy edit let's do that 
This can work for us and ums as well. Do the rest of the work. You want to do the rest of the work. And there we go. We've got a fixed little part of that podcast. Fixed. And you want to do the rest of the work. That's fine. Undo. And you've got this. And you want to do the rest of the work. That's fine. So there you go. A few podcast editing tips for you. Um, another tip, if you don't know it in Adobe Audition, whether you're working in Waveform View or Multitrack, you can actually click the fast forward and you can set it at a different uh, rate depending on how fast you want to go uh, forward. Uh, so at the moment, it's uh, constant two times going forward and reverse at one time. Let's listen to how that works in practice. And you so you hear it's going back at one time but forward at two times but if you want to really go through really fast you can go at eight times speed don't know how you'd be able to hear what's being said there so you can adjust it for you you can have a variable rate as well which can be quite fun if you want to skip through faster and faster as you play and it slowly gets faster and faster and faster <laughs> <laughs> but of course, you're, you're getting silly once you get to the uh, the eight speed and above, even ten speed. Uh, so do have a play with that. It's right clicking uh, the fast forward or reverse keys uh, will bring up this little context menu where you can set it up to your preference, and it's a it's a t real time saver. Certainly at uh, times two speed. <laughs> You can you can still hear what's being said, and you can listen out for mistakes at times two speed. So good way that will cut your editing speed in half if you're a podcast producer. And if you want to take all of this off your hands, uh, we do podcast production here at Music Radio Creative. We'd love to work with you. Uh, and uh, we can do everything from making your audio sound better uh, to meet the correct loudness standards, uh, getting rid of any blips and mistakes, as I've just been demonstrating there, ID3 tagging and saving in the correct format. So all of the podcast post-production is taken care of for you. All you need to focus on is creating the content. Uh, get in touch with us. Main way to find out about what we do is at musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production. 